Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome, I'm SimUK. I'm going to take a bit of a look at the latest Elite Dangerous release, Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Now, I purchased this before release so that I could get early access to the beta, but I decided, well, I don't know, something just put me off actually jumping in and trying it out. So I've tried it out for the first time today, and... Uh, Based on the negative feedback that seems to be all over the place, uh, I wasn't expecting much, but actually, I've really quite enjoyed the tutorial. Now, whether or not it sort of falls sharply off at the end of the tutorial, it's difficult to say, but um, it's been a long time since I've played Elite Dangerous at all. So what I'm going to do is create a brand new profile. That means everything that I've done before has gone. And uh, we're creating a brand, brand new profile today. I don't remember this in the original. How many presets are there? It would be nice if it said nine of, however many there are. Quite a few violets of things. Done with this one. Middle age. Hair type. So that looks fine to me. Eyes. Eye colour. Blue. Starting to look a little bit like me, I've got to say. Head and brown. It's fine. Cheap's fine. Line. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Hay fever is really killing me. Eyewear. So there's no eyewear options available. I guess that's something you've got to buy. Uh, forehead, cosmetic, wall paint, and tattoos. Okay, we have none. Makeup. Um, oh, oh. Okay, let's continue. Your commander name is permanent and cannot be changed. Sim UK. That's, that's fine. All right. So let's start. Now, as I say, I was really, really impressed with the tutorial when I played it. That being said, I was completely confused quite a lot of the time. Now, all I've done. All I've really done, other than completing the tutorial, first time of asking, no issues really, is set up my Xbox 360 controller so that I can move around and interact with the majority of things without requiring the keyboard. Now, 
unfortunately elite dangerous won't let you double bind anything so it does cause quite a few issues when you're trying to find enough buttons for all the things you can do but figured it out there are a few stages that didn't make sense and i didn't know where i was supposed to be going or what to do but we got there in the end and i think it works pretty well now with the xbox 360 controller this is it soldier your last assignment before moving on to bigger and better things i'm guessing your head is up in the stars already but you've got to stay focused for me your short job from the enemy settlement had to drop you far enough to avoid their defense systems the terrain should keep your approach hidden so you'll have the advantage they'll be too busy tracking me anyway i'll send an inside marker for you get moving i'll coordinate from orbit So I don't use uh, Xbox 360 controllers that often, so it's a little tricky, but perfectly functional, perfectly workable. Um, these indicators about where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to be doing, I think they could be a little better. Just curious what's in here. You're not gonna let me cut it open. Okay, what have we got in here? Micro electrodes. Electrical wiring. The CO doesn't like us taking non-essential items. Probably because it's illegal. Probably. But what he doesn't know won't hurt him.
suit fully charged. You can see I'm a little bit clunky with the uh, controls and stuff, but Leaving pressurized environment. for the most part, okay. The Since you're inside the building, the airlock will open right up. conflicts I didn't I did not have that much trouble the first time So this bit took me a little while to figure out, but uh, you have to press the R key on the keyboard. Overload in progress. Overload You'll piss people off doing that usually, but we're in a hurry. Get inside the building. Righty. To bring the reactor back online, slot the power regulator in place. So. Alrighty. Of course, there's an authority check. Okay, you're gonna need security clearance from one of the nearby bodies. A feigning authority is another illegal move, but I'll make sure you're covered in the mission report. Equip your profile analyzer. Make sure you're in the profile cloning mode. No bounty detected. Scan the bodies nearby. It's a grim job, but that's how it goes sometimes. Security profile closed. This worker fits your needs. Clone the security profile to your suit. Engage the power regulator using the reactor console. This will bring the settlement back online. Power center initiation confirmed. Power center initiation. Engaging power regulator. Engaging Keep in mind that the people who attack this place will probably notice when the power comes back on. Stay frosty, yeah? Staying frosty. Some good stuff in there. Power's on, and you've got the right authority level. Command center airlock will open right up. Pass the raiders to keep the place warm for you. Entering pressurized environment. You're going to want to put those fires out. Since nobody's around, you may as well flush the atmosphere. Use the atmospheric control to purge the building. Purging atmosphere. See, so far this is really very, very cool. Really impressed. That did the trick. Now refresh the building to see fresh again. Heads up. That ship signal I mentioned earlier is moving your way. Don't think they're friendly either. Alright, we should be safe to proceed. You need to locate the data port. Entering pressurized environment. So none of this was status messages, resident details, key objects, everything you could need to navigate a settlement all seem to be working. None of this was bound uh, by default for the Xbox 360 controller, so I had to go in and find all of the keys. But actually, on the most part at least, it works very well. Ship belongs to the group that attacked this place. 
place. We'll be here soon. We got the pace, soldier. Get an update of all. The NOC data is still here. Download it to your drive while I swing around to pick you up. Downloading data. Here we go. Yes, I see them. Now, why hook up my crook? The last time I played this, I really nailed them really well. Um, my movement was just excellent. So, I'm just going to fight these guys the best I can. Try and not run out of ammo this time, which is what happened last time. As you can see, using a... Keeping an Xbox, using an Xbox controller makes things a little bit tricky. Explosives. ship arriving with more hostiles. I didn't realise that last time. I wondered where all the extra people came from. Oh, that's close. Where's he going? Uh-oh. That went miles past where it was meant to. Yeah, I'm gonna get my ass kicked up. Not playing as carefully as I did the first time round. I'm also getting a bit of FPS hit. That's the wife keeps trying to get my attention, which is really uh, not helping me particularly. Pretty well. I'd like to change my selected grenade option, but I, I, I haven't got it found. Oh, 
Oh god. Your shield is holding up, but use cover. I need ammo, I need ammo. Too many of them. I can't move. Goodness of that. Come on. Definitely harder than my first go. I'm making it look harder anyway. Oh, my headphones are about to run out of power as well. There's only one hostile left. Take your time. I don't think taking my time is an option. Let's get the hell out of here. So, based on that tutorial mission alone, this is really quite impressive, right? Now, for those of us who want to use an Xbox 360 controller, definitely there's more could be done in order to accommodate all of the buttons and options. Uh, like this thing over here. Could be better. Oh, what? That wasn't a thing before. That never happened last time. What the hell? Is it because I had my gun out? Okay, well, that was unexpected and interesting. But based on that alone, it's pretty cool what they've done. Now I'm going to have to play that again and I'm going to have to get back into the game. Uh, and I've got like a dual Thrustmaster controller system that I've got to hook up and, and work out how to use as well. So there's a lot of stuff that's new that I haven't really covered yet. But um, just bear in mind that I will be, I will be looking at it. I will be investigating and I will be seeing uh, what is great about the game and what is not so great about the game. Am I literally just going to go back to the dropship? This is very interesting. So you can see the laser scan guns there. Now I just walked straight past those last time. So I'm not entirely sure why they're trying to kill me. I wonder if it's because I have my gun in my hand. Something like that, who knows. We'll wait for him to come down and I'll jump on the ship and we'll go. Now, one of the things I really was very much looking forward to that isn't in the game, it seems. Hop in. Time to get that data where it needs to be. Is the option to uh they're not shooting at me this time. 
I think it's because I don't have a gun in my hand, perhaps. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's the fact that there's no ship interior. I mean, wouldn't it be great if I could just walk up the steps through the door and then walk through the ship and get to the control panel? That's what I wanted to see. And instead, I just sort of teleport there, which is not as cool. But with that small... Well, I say small. With that significant issue aside, this is definitely exciting. And it has reinvigorated my Elite Dangerous um, passion, which for a while had completely drained, or drained, or drained, whatever you want to say. At the end of the day, though, um, it's a whole new sort of gameplay experience to try out. And I'm going to see... I'm going to try and put some time and effort into it and just see how how I get on because it's definitely a game worthy of that time and interest so I'll wrap up now and you can just watch the end of the tutorial and the introduction if you want to if you haven't already seen it a hundred times and I'll see you in the next one bye for now Orbital flight engaged.
So one thing I will mention there just before I wrap up is that rather strangely the pilot at no point um, spoke. Uh, the first time I played through this tutorial he was talking about get, grabbing a beer, uh, what you're going to do, you know, what, what the future holds for you, all this kind of good stuff. There's not even an option right now for me to uh, get out of the ship. So clearly there are some bugs, I'd say, in the game. Still, even to this point, even after all the initial bugs that caused so much disruption and issue. Um, so, yeah, I just, I guess we'll just progress from here and see how it goes. But thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.